Have you ever been overwhelmed before? You felt like you had so many things, there's no way you could possibly get them all done. Or you felt like you were the only one working and nobody was even helping you. There is a story in the Bible about a woman who felt the same way when she invited Jesus over for dinner. The Bible says in Luke that Jesus, um, he went into a certain village. It says in Luke 10, 34, and a certain woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. So Martha was excited. She was excited to have Jesus. She welcomed him into her house. But Jesus, remember, Jesus is 100% man, but also 100% God, which means he's totally perfect. Can you imagine having God over to your house? You would want everything to be perfect. And the Bible says that Mary, um, she had a sister named Mary. But Mary sat at the feet of Jesus, but Martha was distracted with much serving. So Martha was busy trying to get everything perfect. And she felt like maybe her sister wasn't helping her. Maybe Martha felt like there was a lot of things to do. There was a lot of little things that she had to get done. But then there were also big things. In our lives, there's a lot of things that are little that take up our time, maybe like brushing our teeth. They're little, but they're also important. They have to get done. And then there's big things like caring for our siblings or um, our relationships with our friends. There's a lot of big things that are also important. Sometimes it might feel like all the things that have to get done, we have to, we hold them all in, right? And the pressure becomes unreal. Maybe that's how Martha felt. She felt like she had to get dinner ready and she had to have a place for Jesus to sit and have food and have everything. And so the pressure became unreal. And sometimes when we feel that way, we eventually, we hold it all in and then eventually like a balloon, we pop. And maybe we don't mean to, but we explode at other people. Maybe in anger or frustration, we're like, why aren't you helping us? Now the Bible doesn't necessarily say Martha did that. She might've done something else that's easy to do. She came to Jesus and she started to complain about other people. Maybe that's what we do when we get overwhelmed and we feel like nobody's helping us, we start to complain. And we're like, please, why aren't they doing anything? Right? It's not very pretty to listen to. But the Bible says that Martha came to Jesus and she said, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her to help me. Right? This might be kind of what Martha sounded like. She was kind of complaining. And we, if we're God's children, we shouldn't be complaining about the people around us. Jesus gave Martha another option. Instead of um, saying, you should do all this and you should work super hard, he said that she should look at her sister Mary. He says, Martha, Martha, you're worried and troubled about many things, but one thing is needed. And Mary, your sister, has chosen that good part which shall never be taken away from her. It shall not be taken away from her. That means that Mary would have this thing forever. Martha was doing lots of good things, but she was distracted. Now it's easy to get full and doing lots of good things. And the Bible says that there's lots of good things that we should do. And there's lots of things that God wants us to do. But instead of keeping it all inside, if you're God's child, you can choose to live in freedom. When you choose to let it all go and to sit at the feet of Jesus, there is freedom. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have to do anything. There are lots of things that God asks us to do. If you're not God's child yet, the first, the most important thing you should do is you should admit that you're a sinner, that you've done wrong. And you can believe that Jesus came to save you from your sins. And then you can talk to God and tell him that you're making that decision. That's a very important thing, right? But then if you're already God's child, you can read your Bible and you can pray and get to know God better. That's kind of like what Martha did when her and Mary were spending time with Jesus, then Jesus could help Martha and help her not be distracted by little things. Because Martha was trying to figure out how she was going to fit all of these things into her 24 hours, right? All these things had to be done in one day. How could you even do it? When you do the little things and let the little things fill up all your times, then the big things don't fit, right? If I dump all of these in, they're not going to fit. But when we choose to do the most important things first, like spending time with God, and investing in other people and praying. Then when we do the first things, just like Mary, all of the little things will actually just fill in the cracks all around. So we wanna make sure that like Mary, we're sitting at the feet of Jesus and we're choosing to put the most important things first.